Now here, we're going to make some green wallpaper. I did a, a, a green scum bolt right there. And I'm going to take this and put a pattern on there. I'm going to just take, because my benches are benches, I'm just going to put some of this darker green right here, lots of it on the bench. I repaint my benches every now and then, but this doesn't hurt anything. Then I take and I get, I get this done, and then I just simply, I know where straight up and down is. I've got it marked there and there, that Sharpie. Um, so there's that. We need a little more of this. And I can line that Sharpie mark up with the bottom of that stamp. And I come in here and I go like that. And that's looking a little better. Still need more paint on it though. So, I forget what show I made this for. I don't remember. And then I come over here. And I put one there. And then I have one here. I need to press. Whoa, that's now it's starting to look a little bit like something, something, huh? Never a good idea to stamp them twice because you never get it registered quite perfectly. So here's a nice wallpaper that's going to go in the dining room with that floor over there. So now I can, I can try. I'll see if I can do this. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get this one a little. There we go. That's not bad. Wallpaper. So that's one way to use a stamp, and it leaves funny looking designs on your workbench like that. Um, stamps. This stamp is just cut from some foam rubber. I drew it out. Use a very sharp X-Acto knife or a razor blade. Cut deep into it, and then you can just start pulling it out. And on the back side, I made this handle so that I can. I know what this was for. This is for uh, Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber of Fleet Street at Grand Valley State University.